Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? If you are watching this video, <clears throat> that means that it is Friday. Well, technically, if you're watching this video on the day it's released, that means it's Friday. And I'm doing my 24-hour stream today at 6 p.m. Eastern until Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. You have opportunities to win thousands of dollars. Literal thousands of dollars. I'm not making that number up. And, um... <clears throat> I hope to see you guys there because it's going to be freaking awesome. I'm going to go beads, I think. The Trollano. The Trollano. I guess I'll pause and I'll take this opportunity. Never mind. I'll unpause because he just got back in. Um, But what I was going to say was if you want some extra da dude content. Oh, he paused now. If you want some extra da dude content, um, you can consider joining as a member, becoming a super Samalander. Bro, I'm love your videos. No, you. I'm love you. I'm love you, Trollano. But, um, yeah, you get some extra videos if you are. If you're not, don't worry about it. You're getting the same banger content every day anyways. <clears throat> but, that being said, I went into, uh, if you're wondering what this nonsense build is, I went into jungle practice and I purchased every different variety of items that I could figure out and abusing passives and whatnot level 20 fully stacked stuff like that to figure out what would be the most damage I could get out of um well out of Vulcan now obviously I'm not Kukulin I can't get the 2000 power mark or you know I can't abuse it with Kronos or anything like that before because they get an extra 25 to 30 percent power but what I can do with Vulcan is build the highest damage items in the game and with a 3k elixir, a 500 pot, and upgraded bracer that gives you 25% or 20% more power, I can get up to 1600 power. And that's the game plan today. 1600 power Vulcan. It's not going to be easy, nor is it even honestly realistic to do because you need the full build while double stacking, while having no defense or cooldown. And then get the 3k pot without them surrendering. While obviously needing a lead in order to pull it off. I thought he would juke backwards and he didn't. So, you know, there's a lot of factors that go on in this. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to pull it off. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. Whether it be first attempt or tenth attempt. One of these attempts is going to pull it off and I'm going to feel amazing doing it. Uh, this is 1150 gold until... I get my book of thought. And I'm going book into warlocks, and then I'm going uh, Bancrofts into Typhons because Bancrofts and Typhons, obviously they work well with each other, but they also because they also have life steal and the Polynomicon too. Also has life steal, which makes Typhons give a lot more power. But Typhons and Bancrofts and Poly all give a ton of mana, which also works well with Book of Thought. Doom Orb has 200 mana and 145 power. It is the highest power item in the game, actually. Um. Giving you 165 power if you have Book of Thoth. So it's there's a lot of math I did going into this build. A lot of, of prep. About 40 minutes of sitting in jungle practice buying every freaking item imaginable. This is mine. Go away. Still mine. Leave me alone. No, you're not allowed to touch me! Hmm. Golden Blade? Big knockup. Big one. Big turret. Get out of here. You are not allowed back over here. No siree. Oh, he's not going to be immune. I didn't know that. I'm out of mana already. Not I back. I ultra wave and then I back. Why'd you stop my back? I was clearing the wave, bro. What the? You even... Oh, man. He was so close to not living through that. That's okay. I go back. I get Book of Thought. Tier 1 Warlocks. I'll grab a uh, Mana Pot or two because it seems like my mana is an issue at the moment. I'm kind of spamming, so it makes sense. <clears throat> Hello. Nice. I think I will level my turret up just because... Against an Erlang, he's probably going to try to W-key me pretty heavy for a while. 
And if I just hide behind my turret, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'll be fine, especially if I'm maxing that turret. Warlock Staff is 1850 for the finished product. So I gotta know another... I gotta get another 120 gold. How kind of you to do my blue buff for me? I missed. Never mind. That doesn't knock up anymore, huh? The turtle. Wait, you don't kill me here. I do too much damage for you. Alright, I'm zoning him out with my turret. He's got to dash through my turret if he wants a piece of this. Oh, close. Come on! Let's go! Massive ult! Huge ult, baby. Alright, with the kill, that's going to give us a pretty decent amount of gold. But mainly it's going to give us a lot of pressure. His tower is going to be low HP. He's going to be trying his best to live. But I don't think he'll be able to. Oh, he's, he's, he lost tower to try to kill me. No. That's not good for him. Well, obviously, I mean, losing your tower is never good. But I'm dead. Please no. Please no. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I can super kill him. Oh, good shell, dude. Okay. This isn't over yet, boys. He surrendered? I hit him with a meatball and he surrendered? Oh my god. Well, you know what? I'll see you guys in game number two where I can actually pull it off. Boom. Welcome back to game number two, boys. We're trying again the same Super Omega Pow Pow damage build. If I don't get... So here's the thing. If I don't have red buff... Ouch. If I don't have red buff, my bracer my 500 pot or my 3k pot, this build still nets you 934 power, which is the highest I could get it without starter items. Um, which is, I mean, hey, let's be honest. That's pretty freaking high. 900 power, but... <coughs> excuse me. But um, with the 3k pot and the 500 pot, I think you get up to like 1350 power. With red buff, kicks you up to 1,500. And then you brace her down for up to, I think, 1,700 power. So it should be pretty sick. I mean, if I can work, if I can get everything working in tandem, it'll be really dope. The problem is getting everything working in tandem requires like a 25 to 30 minute game. And I, I'm pretty good at this video game. And not many people will want to fight me for 25 minutes to 30 you know so that's kind of that's my limiting factor right now having people actually want to wait out that long get away from my blue buff what's your problem what's your problem huh you try to take my blue buff get out of here who do you think you are He didn't even get his blue buff. He just tried to invade mine. And then couldn't. And now he has no buffs to my two. I'm in a very good position this game. One might say too good. I think he might surrender. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Not again. Alright. Let's do this. Are you coming this way? I don't see him yet. I don't see him. He's not level five, so he can't uh he can't pop out of nowhere and ult me. I think I will I'll ult the wave. Oh I missed. Him.
All right, with blue buff, I might be able to get this. What's your HP at? He's pretty healthy. I don't know. Getting this is a bit risky. Because, you know, he's going to hit five off that wave, I think. Yeah, he did hit five off that wave. And he could ult the crap out of me. But with my back there, I'd, I wonder, maybe I can make it to red buff, actually, in time. Probably not. Did he ult? Yeah, he just ulted in. Which insta-cleared my wave. I don't think I can get red here, unless I do some, some crazy shit. But, like, that's honestly just not really possible. Wait, why does he do no damage? Oh, he... Dude, he backed, but he couldn't afford his Transcendence. And I have Book of Thoth. This is 100% mine. Well, unless you mez me and combo wombo me. He didn't. Yeah, you wave clear. Me too. And now we punch each other in the head until one of us gives up. He ran away first, so I won that game of chicken. I think I'm just going to do this. My next item is going to be a Warlock Staff. And the reason is... Not because I think it's like the next biggest power item. Because it's not. But um, because I think if I want all my power items online... I got to do my stacking ones first. I mean... As much as I would rather have a Bancroft, or I'd rather have a do more for the movement speed, or, you know, all those other options of, in my opinion, like, better options, I have to go with the Warlock Staff now, because if I don't, I mean, who knows, maybe I get Warlock Staff, like, fifth or sixth item, and then I have all this stuff for my build, but it doesn't actually work, because I don't have it stacked, you know? Like, that would be the dumbest reason to not commit to the meme. Now, Warlocks is actually pretty cheap, I think. Yeah, only 2,500. Pretty, it's, it's cheaper than, I think, half of the magical items. So, not bad at all. We are very far ahead right now, man. You have your blue? Oh, you just got it. Damn it. Go on, Itchaval. Huh. Not itch of all. What would that be? Silver branch, I guess, because Apollo. But even still, I mean, <clears throat> that doesn't make much sense. Oh, my damage. Holy crap. Bro, all I have. That kills you. Oh, we got his Aegis. Okay, nice. Nice. He might ult into this. I don't actually think even with his ult, he can get here in time. Unless I kicked it out of my tower range. Let's go. Oh, please don't hurt me. Dude, I do way more damage than you. I can go get my Warlock Staff right now. But I'm going to keep uh, being aggro here. I'm sure a level 3 turret can clear these, right? I'll just back. Warlock Staff. Tier 1 Bancrofts as well while I'm at it. So now that I have both of my stacking items, I'm going to go Warlocks and then I'm going to go um typhons because typhons gives me a huge power spike if you already have warlocks i'm sorry if you already have uh bancrofts typhons gives you a huge power spike then after that i'm gonna increase my spike a little bit more with polynomicon and uh finish off with a solid doom orb and i, I don't know man i i'm feeling pretty good he's gonna have to get some defense obviously and I don't have defense, so he will do a lot of damage to me, but. Oh, he's getting my speed buff, that little rat. Nice. 
Alright, he's just gonna mez me and dash. Darn it. Hmm. He already had his speed buff on, so I know that I can't get it. And honestly, he might be able to ult me and kill me here. Alright. I I played that bad. I'm down to admit when I when I suck, and I definitely sucked at that time. Not it. I didn't suck anything, but I was bad at the game. <laughs> I, I was bad at, at the game just now. All right, what are you getting? You never even backed, bro. Why? Oh my god. Bro, my turret, two shots of my turret did 500 damage. Then my 1-3 combo did another, like, what is that, almost 900? Whoa. That's without red buff. And I don't even have Bancrofts. I don't even have Warlock stack. Oh my god. That's crazy high damage. He loses tower here. I guess he wanted his speed buff again. Or he was waiting for an item. Bro! Bro! My turret is deleting this guy. Actually deleting. Three tower shot or three turret shots did like 750 damage. Holy crap. Bro, you got to get some defense. Yeah, three, three turret shots did 783 damage. I actually do want this. Oh my god, man. I wonder if, if that alt hit him, if it would have one hit him. It probably would have. Damn. He is playing a bit more cautious now, I'll admit. Which is good. I mean, he was... Not feeling great. But I'll clear this blue for me. Oh, let's go. I even stole the speed buff from him. I feel like everything I've done this game... Has got to be so demoralizing for him. Like, I've just been... Like, look at that burst! What the fuck? I burst... I hit half, more than half of his HP. In one combo. That's not okay, man. Alright, let's get your Aegis. Perfect. And then I'll go get some more XP and I'll try to get the red buff here. He might ult it and I know he doesn't do that much damage. But uh, still his ult. Yeah, could be annoying. Like I said. But it's definitely mine. Thank you. I'll plop that bad down. That bad boy down. His Phoenix is half HP. I don't even remember autoing it. Dude, even just right now, I feel like my power is so high. Oh, I also need to upgrade my bracer. I can't forget to do that. All right, so we got our Typhons all the way in now. With 620 power without red buff. Without red buff. Without 500 pot, without bracer. Without 3k pot, without red buff, without bull demon buff. Like, oh my god. With bracer, the only only level 1 bracer. 
puts me up to 680. It only gives me an extra, what, 10 power? 10% power? Yeah. But when I upgrade that, it'll it'll double it. It'll give me 20%. I don't know if that'll reach. Nah, it didn't. Okay. I guess I can do Bull Demon. Not because I'm, like, desperate to win the game or anything, but strictly because I want to, uh... Oh god, the bull demon's hitting my turret. How dare you. But simply because I want the gold and the XP you get from it. I gotta give it to this guy though. He's not surrendering. Like, if I was down... What is this? 2,000 gold? 2,500 gold? I would... I would have been long gone by now. I would not have even considered playing this game. Jesus. Look at this. I just plopped the turret down and hide behind it. Oh, the turret actually can't see behind Phoenix. I didn't know that. I thought it could. I thought it was like any other ability. All right. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> alright, he's gonna go get red buff. That's alright. I'm cool if you want to go grab your red. I'm gonna gra grab my poly. This is gonna shoot me from 620 power to 770. It's gonna give me 150 power off of one item. Jesus. It's cause it's cause you're double dipping. You you're getting the you're getting the power from the item, then you're getting the bonus power from the lifesteal of the item, and then you're getting the bonus power from the mana of the item. Everything works in tandem. It's super dope. Then my last item is gonna be do more, which is gonna give me 165 power. Which, like I said, is gonna bring me to 934 power. It's exactly how I calculated it during the jun jungle practice. But Doom Orb costs 2,800 gold. And if I kill him, he'll surrender. Hmm. It's like a puzzle. I'm doing a puzzle now. How do I get to where I need to go without hitting any speed bumps? I also need the red buff. Why are you here? Dude, that poly. 300 damage poly. Not to mention, the triple life seal keeps me topped up really nicely. Alright. Place that there so it can clear the blue buff for me while I'm harassing him. That's my speed buff. Get away from it. Alright, blue buff is down as well. I assume the red buff is down. I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't get it. I think it's safe to assume he got it. But maybe he didn't. Yeah, he did. Damn it. Got the XP camp too? What the heck? I can go re-get bull demon real quick. What are you doing? I don't want to kill him because I don't want him to surrender. You're not doing bull demon, are you? Oh, yo. He better not have done my red. Again. He better not have done my red again. I'll be livid. Perfect, he didn't. Alright. With this red buff, it allows me to go back 
get my Doom Orb and break the 1,000 power barrier. I now have 1,038 power. I can get five. I can get 25% uh, more with the 3K pot, plus 20% more with my Bracer, plus 50 power on top of that. Dude, so much. How much does my one do? My one does over a thousand damage right now. Yeah, my one and my three do over a thousand damage. Okay. That seems pretty balanced. Just like running the numbers in my head. Just a, a casual, my turret shot. Yeah, casual 600 damage. It's not like I can extremely easily accidentally one-hit any squishy character in the game. Oh my god. My 3-1 combo did over 1,000 damage, plus the auto, the Polynomicon did 400. And I'm, I'm telling you, bro, it's not even like... I'm only like 70% of the way done with this build. I need 3,500 gold. Where are you going? Where do I blink on you, though? Oh, the age is... <laughs> I was wondering if it would one-hit him. If the alt would one-hit him. God, that would have been funny. All right, I'm I'm still 1300 gold off of Actually, no. I'm still cuz getting Jesus. That dude seeing that burst will never get old. But um I need 800 gold for bracer too. So I need 3500 plus 800. I need 4300 gold. 4,300 gold will give me the most power you can get if you're not somebody that abuses mana like Kukulkin or Kronos or someone like that. Hello. I have never seen a mage do bull demon that fast. Never in my life. All right, so I'm going to 3k pot, 500 pot. And then uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the extra 800 gold I need. So I'll place this down. I have 1470 power. I would get an extra 147 power by upgrading my bracer. Putting me at 1600. My Polynomicon just did 500 damage. My one did 750. Okay. GG, dude. My one did 1500 damage in two hits. My. <laughs> My turret did a thousand damage in two hits. What the fuck? That's not okay, man. Look at this damage. <laughs> Look at that shit. Yeah, I have 1522 power with Bancrofts. Add another 15. Add another 152. Yeah, that puts me at almost 1700 power. With full Bancrofts, like when I'm low HP, with... With full Bancrofts and upgraded Bracer, that build gets you 1,800 power. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's insane. And I actually was able to pull it off for you guys. Hell yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, 24-hour stream literally today. Join a member for extra videos. Scumbag Saturday tomorrow. Who knows? Peace.